Guten Tag and welcome back everybody to modded Minecraft this time in 1.11 again uh, because I am busy with preparing a server for a little project you will see more of next week and uh, because of that little project I have to prepare a few things and the first thing I want to do and I think um, you saw me doing that earlier maybe I, I actually don't know I want to build a Viking Inn uh, I built this on a creative server as you can see I am also in creative right now and this is schematica or schematics now oh, I think schematica uh, for all of you who don't know what that is it is basically a program where you can um, where you can write a building you built or a structure you built no matter what structure um, you can write that as a schematic and load that um, over multiple worlds if you want to for later purpose and you can uh, rebuild it exactly the same it was so um, this even works in um, in um, not creative in survival <laughs> because uh, this is just the schematics it doesn't build anything you just need the blocks in your hand and it will try to place them uh, if it can so it is a really easy way uh, to to rebuild a structure in creative it is even more easy uh, you just have to turn on the printer and gear uh, near it and it will build everything that might be a little bit loud uh, there we go okay now uh, everything will get built uh, this way uh, let me build the actual building and then we will see where we go from there so the actual building is done now um, it is uh, actually inspired by uh, the Elder Scrolls online and there is a very oh <laughs> I forgot a block there's a very uh, Viking themed area uh, where you would find buildings like uh, this and uh, that is actually where I got the inspiration for this build um, this is may meant as a main hub uh, when we start the server series and because you know when you look around here it is over there's the ocean so we have a real um, Nordic feel to the oh that is the wrong wood uh, uh, the Nordic feel to the or Nordic theme Nordic feel to the area and because of that I want to have it built in a similar way good uh, but as you notice um, it is it is plain vanilla except for example this door or this infused cobblestone back there which is not available in vanilla and the campfires of course um, but the rest of it is pure vanilla build and um, it is for a modded server uh, a little bit too boring in my opinion so this is supposed to be an inn it is the Viking Inn uh, maybe the Lost Viking Inn or whatever we want to see yeah we will see what we want to call it but I want to change the building a little bit and I want to decorate it a little bit so if this is an inn uh, we must have tables we must have chairs um, we must have maybe um, a, a I have no idea what it's called like a bar we have a barkeeper back um, where you can order drinks uh, and food and stuff like that so we want to decorate things a little bit um, we want to have nicer lighting I want to have a chandelier hanging from this and from this maybe a center one oh there is no why isn't there a center can that be did i build it on ah it doesn't matter um so <laughs> there and there uh, i want to have chandeliers i want to have furniture uh, stuff like that and to achieve that we can get rid of this we have two uh, options first of all we have our trusty chisels and bits that is of course one of the most used um, bits mod out there uh, let's see grab a chisel uh, grab a bag grab a saw do we need anything else maybe a 
second bag. Oh, here's a tape measure in this. I didn't know this is... Okay, good. Um, yeah, so we can actually use chisel and bits to build, for example, chairs. Um, but there is another mod I want to explore. And that is... Nope, like this. And that is Little Tiles. Little Tiles is very similar to chisels and bits, except that is theoretically possible to be way more detailed. Uh, let me let me try to explain what I mean. Uh, give me that block. Give me that block. Okay. Uh, let me go to oop from um, to survival, so we can actually see what we are doing here. Good. When I want to have this block and I want to chisel it, let's see. Same material. Boop. There we go. We have now a bunch of chisel bits uh, from spruce wood. Why do we have two saws? Hmm. And with these bits, we can now place the single bits wherever we want. Uh, we can do uh, planes, for example, um, stuff like that. And we can, wait, did I do it like this? No. How did I do the redo? What is this? No idea. <laughs> what? Uh, what is happening? Nothing to redo. Okay, I forgot to uh, do undo. Um, I will do that later. Um, but you can see here the kind of um, chisel or the kind of bits you can chisel with. Then, on the other hand, you have little tiles. Let me grab the hammer. Uh, with little tiles, you can actually um, determine how many bits you want to have per block. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, for example, uh, you can here say uh, how big this is. So this would, would end up in a in a plane like we placed it before. This was just be a bar. This was just be a bit. Now chisel that, and if we try to and if we start placing them, you can see how tiny they are. <laughs> this is of course um, a matter of uh, configuration. Now I configured it in a way that you have 64 by 64 by 64 bits per block, where um, chisel the bits only uh, has 16. And this is also the standard configuration for, for little tiles. Little tiles also has 16 blocks um, as a standard. But I uh, increased that a little bit because I want to add minor details, for example, like candles to the chandelier that are even more detailed than it is possible with chisels and bits. Good. Now let me try to get to work and we will see what we can do with it. To get a sense of scale for the actual chandelier I used uh, fences here. So we have one block, two blocks high and then we have one block here on each side meaning we have a block height. Let me grab a regular block like this here. So we have a block here, 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 and here. So this is a, a three by three structure that is rather big. So we have to keep that in mind uh, when we try to build it, uh, for example, out here, so we can later place it, hello, there we go. So if we want to build a three by three structure like this, uh, we need this as a workspace to work with. Now, start working on it. All right, so um, I, I started over. <laughs> this was the thing I had before, uh, and it looks roundish. And I think it's too big. And then I started over and made this one here. Um, this looks way rounder than that one. And it is made with, um, with little tiles instead of chisel and bits. The, the advantage you have when you use, chisel, uh, when you use t little tiles is that you can actually make a recipe from it. So you can, hello, you can choose the top one here and this one here and it will add the whole thing. So everything that is connected will be added. And then you can use your little wrench and make a structure out of it. So that is pretty awesome. That way 
we can easily place it everywhere inside we want to. I think I even had, yeah, it's already there. So we can easily, um, let me remove that. We can easily place wherever we want to. It's a little bit hard to figure out exactly where the center is, but we can easily place it wherever we want. The downside, and this is where I don't get it actually. The downside is that you can, with the wrench, combine all the, the bits, the tiles, the little tiles in one block space into one structure. And it works pretty nice. For example, I can show you here. No, uh, I had some. No, where is it? Hmm, okay, for some odd reason I did it actually. Hmm. So, but you can see here, let's for example here, we have four of these little tiles. You can see it. And then I click it with a wrench, nothing happens. Why not? It should combine them. Hmm. It worked here. You can see this is now one piece instead of two pieces. But I can't do it on the little pieces. Sometimes it's, it just don't work and I don't know why. And this makes things um, way more complicated because when I want to remove, for example, that whole thing here, I can't. I can only remove little things. And I have no um, undo feature, which makes it also very difficult to build with. But I think the possibilities you have are better, way better actually, in my opinion. So I will try to figure out how I can um, get this thing to work. And um, yeah, then we will see us again in a second. All right, so um, I added the second layer because I do want to have um, two of the circles here and I added the first piece of rope. When you add the rope or when you try to be very precise with these little bits, um, there is a little trick in little tiles, uh, something that, for example, can't be achieved with, um, with uh, chisels and bits. When you place a little tile Let's say, is this correct? Uh, well, let's see. How did I do it here? Oh yeah, I placed one exactly here. And yes, that's a little bit finicky. Let's see. Uh, we can, wait. <laughs> Get closer. <laughs> okay, now I want to have it exactly here. And you see, I can barely place it. Therefore, I will go to the, oh, now I can. Okay, good. But I can't do what I did here. Let's see here. I placed this almost inside the block. Now, when you do something like that, you can see here, you can go only to there, but you can't move it inside the other block. Therefore, you press M to mark the location. And then you can use your cursor keys to move this little tile wherever you want to have it. And now we have it exactly inside the block. And then you can place it with um, control click to override the setting there. Otherwise it wouldn't place it inside the block because there's already a block there. Now, um, hit M, place it with the cursor keys, uh, hold control and right click. And there you go. And this way you can place it inside so we can make the rope look like that would actually be um, uh, tied around it and, and we'll tie it around on the other side as well. So, and here is the same thing. Oh no, I can actually place it. So on the other side, I couldn't place it like that. I could just place it like this, then press M, move it and place it. Here is a little bit easier because I can place it exactly on this outer little bit. Okay. I will continue building and be back with you in a second. Good. So um, now I find it rather hard to build it on that scale here, actually, with all four of the pieces in place, more or less. Therefore, I split this. Um, I split this up. You can see here what. Oh man. <laughs> It is so weird to play like that. Um, here, this is the original building I did. And then I wanted to place things here to, or down below. And it's really quite hard. And therefore, I did a few uh, backup buildings, so to speak. And I edited just one little piece. And you can see here, um, this is now the, uh, the cord, the rope. 
uh, these pieces comes tied together like this um, wrapped around here um, the upper piece and the lower piece and it looks like this when we put all the four pieces to Ooh, what is missing here there's missing one no it, it doesn't matter um, so this is now what it looks like when it wraps all around oh well is this actually whoops it cut it out yeah, okay I have to be careful with that um, but this is what it looks like uh, we have to add the rope back down again. I think I can actually remove these pieces. Um, it's fairly easy now. Uh, I just have to duplicate this one. I can actually use this one. I think I have it even in my inventory right here. Yeah, I do. Um, and I can place it all around here and we have a finished chandelier. All that's uh, left now or that's missing now are the um, candles. So let me add those. You won't actually believe how much time this eats up. <laughs> ah, oh, the whole inventory is full with crap. Um, yeah, so I have it to the point where I have at least um, the candle holders on all four sides. The same has to be added now on this level here, because uh, we do want to have them all around. Uh, we want to have them on this sides as well. And then... All we need to do is add the middle axle um, and then we are good to go, I believe. So I will try to add those now and the actual candles and then we will see how it looks. And it is done. The outside is cleaned up and the two chandeliers are in place. And there they are. <sighs> Finally, I added the candles it looks it looks maybe a little bit odd nah i like it i like it so i, I have the candles in place and uh, these actually spent light uh, it is um, blaze lantern and blaze block something from um, from cork i think but it actually spends light um, and it is lit inside here you can see the light level just the outer corner uh, there the light is not enough not idea no idea what it uh, what I will do about that most likely I will place a flower pot or something in there but it is done we have two two chandeliers in place uh, then we will have groups of seating with tables on this side most likely and um, the bar or whatever you want to call it over on this side but this will not make it into the video because that is already way too long and um, well I, we need this uh, we need this building actually tomorrow not much time left and I have to do a few things still so uh, we will see us again in the next one most likely then with this building take care of yourself guys and rock on <laughs>